Hello and greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Today we are continuing our adventure in the jungle and in case you missed our last video, we got to fish for piranhas, swim in the Amazon river, and spot wildlife in one of the most biodiverse places in the entire world. Our adventure has only just begun with Curacao Lodge as they show us what it's truly like to be in the middle of the rainforest. As per usual, we will be starting off our day with a fresh homemade breakfast before taking a boat to a village in the Amazon rainforest. Breakfast for today. So we just made it to the village and we just started to learn about a person named Barbara that came as a tourist. She visited and she fell in love with the place and more importantly she actually helped create a school here as well as a little marketplace which is right behind me where the local women will sell handmade goods to tourists such as us <laughs> and they're able to make an income and improve their houses because what would actually happen is the water would be above where I am right now. It'd be higher than my head and it would flood their houses every single year. And because their houses are made out of wood, the wood would rot and it just would not last very well. So she came in and helped build um, more substantial housing that was made out of concrete. Um, so it can last for a longer time and they can use it year after year, which is just really exciting. So this is how high the water will go. It's right underneath the house. It's pretty wild. So we got three different things from three different families and so the first thing we got is a sloth ornament because hopefully one day we'll have a Christmas tree and we'll have ornaments from around the world. And then we each got a bracelet. This one's Chad's and this one's mine. And this one has a very special seed that's apparently lucky. So. Hopefully it will give me uh, better luck in the future. The kids here have never seen a drone before so they're super intrigued and Chad has a nice little crowd around him. <laughs> So behind me is this palm tree called the aguaje and this very special tree actually attracts a beetle um, that the jungle people eat. And so what they do is they cut that tree down and then they have the trunk of the tree which they then chop up and this will attract the beetle to come fly over, lay its eggs and then they wait for the larva to come out. And this larva really enjoys eating the heart of the palm. It's very juicy, very tasty and they'll eat, 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 eat and then the people wait 21 days and so they chop open the tree and sometimes they'll even get up to 500 of these larvae. And apparently we might be lucky enough to try this larva, this little rainforest grub um, because they are bringing us some and Apparently it's very delicious, so I'm excited to try it. So we just got off the boat and behind me, there are these lily pads that are insanely large. They're probably about four feet in diameter. So what's really crazy is they actually have this root system that's at the bottom of the lake and it has these two vertical stems that are about five meters long and they can't grow any longer than that. So if the lake was any um, higher, it wouldn't be able to be here. So I'm really glad that it is. And the two stems that I was talking about, actually one of them is for the lily pad itself and then the other is for the flower that grows. And that flower actually only lasts for about one week. And during that one week, it goes through three changes of color. The first is white, the second one is pink, and the third one is lilac. But we're actually heading back to the lodge to have some lunch. Ooh, a little welcome drink. Muchas <laughs> gracias. Oh, oh, yes, <laughs> much needed. <laughs> so they served us another juice for lunch and it is made from the cocona, which is a relative of the tomato. It's really refreshing. It is officially lunch time. As always, the spread looks amazing. So we have made it to the afternoon part of the day where we lay in our hammocks, we have our fans, and we are so full from lunch that you just want to fall asleep and you do to the sounds of the birds and but yeah. <laughs> So ever since we arrived in the Amazon rainforest, it actually hasn't rained because we are here during the dry season, but I do hear some claps of thunder and I'm really hoping it does rain because I want to see the rainforest in action. 
Guys, it's starting to rain. <laughs> you can see it on the water a little bit. So the rain has now ceased and we are going to head into the rainforest for a little jungle walk. And we did enter the jungle the night before, but it was at nighttime. So we are officially entering the jungle <laughs> and it's pitch black outside. And that was horrifying because once you turn the lights off, you literally can't see anything. And apparently like if someone was walking through the jungle and their light went out, they have to just stay where they are and sleep the night exactly where their light went out. And I think that's so scary, but we're gonna go during the day so that hopefully we can spot some monkeys and some other creatures. We are getting jungle ready. <laughs> yes, we have a few drops of uh, bug spray left, putting it in the vital areas, which I guess this is a vital area. <laughs> hopefully there's no trench on it. Wow, you didn't even shake them out. <laughs> so you're gonna shake yours out or no? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. So apparently, during today's jungle walk, our guide Freddy is going to point out different types of medicinal plants because there are tons of them in the rainforest. And actually, a lot of the locals here, they don't go to the doctor or anything like that. They just kind of go into the jungle, find a certain plant that they need for whatever is aching, and they will eat it or apply it to their wound. And it's a great way of living, <laughs> all natural. So we are about to head into the rainforest and our guide, Freddy, has yeah. a nice little machete to protect us. <laughs> <laughs> So we are currently at a rubber tree. Mm -hmm, yeah. The sap just pulls off like yeah. rubber. Wow. It's strong. So this is the sap from the rubber tree and they would export a lot of this to Europe and they would use it to make tires. And it's pretty cool. Wow. Also, I want to point out that uh, we have our boots, but Freddie's just wearing flip-flops. <laughs> very brave. Brave. <laughs> so this tree here is actually very poisonous. It's called the Katara. As you can see, there are a lot of spikes, and these spikes actually hold a poison that if it even got a single drop in your eye, you can be blind forever. But they also use this poison to shoot at animals and it'll paralyze them, <laughs> which is really interesting. But what is really cool is that the leaves are medicinal, so you can actually use those for medicine. And then also the wood is very good for boats. So if you cut off all the poisonous parts, the wood is perfect because it's um, very lightweight and it floats well. So this is red cat's claw and it is used to heal cancer as well as just a variety of illnesses. Just the bark is used and what they do is they'll soak it in water or they will boil the bark in water and then you will drink it and apparently it will make you feel a lot better. It is also used if you are very thirsty and you're lost in the jungle and you need some water, you can cut it and you can take a piece and it'll give you some mineral water, which is really awesome. Okay, it's not easy to see, but right there in the middle in that tree, there are three pairs of eyes looking at us, and those are night monkeys. Oh, one peeked away. We have made it to the Seba tree, which is 250 years old. Whoa, it's like a cloud. Tell them the fun facts. Me? Yeah, just because. There are cause... A lot of bugs in this. <laughs> kind of freaking me out. <laughs> that is the fun fact. Uh, a lot of spider there. <laughs> so this is a flower from the Seba tree, which is right behind me, and they use this to make pillows, and they also use it for blow darts. So they actually wrap the darts in this, and it helps seal the hole so that they can blow it farther, and also it makes the dart more stable while it's in the air, so it's more accurate. It's really interesting and it's really soft. So we just made it back from our jungle walk 
and it was so much fun. We saw so many different animals, big and small. It's amazing how Freddy can see the smallest frog on this tiny leaf, and then he's able to spot these monkeys that are really high up in the tree, and these parrots. But it is definitely the jungle out there, so it is nice to be back at our little villa. Um, but tonight we are actually trying the Surrey, which Claire told you a little bit about earlier on how they get it and acquire it, but we will be doing that around dinner time. And then after dinner, we will be taking part in an ayahuasca ceremony because we are actually being visited by a shaman that is going to explain the entire process of the ceremony. I don't actually know too much, but what I do know is that the ayahuasca is a drink that they have here in the rainforest. It is part of the local tradition, and what they do is they go through the ceremony and you are supposed to set an intention for yourself. So it's like, I want to be a better person as an example. And you have this drink, which does not taste good apparently, but it allows you to cleanse your body. So you might throw up from it, but then you start to have visions and apparently it unlocks a part of your brain that is not normally unlocked. Claire and I will not be partaking in the drink itself, but we are very excited to learn about the entire process of the ceremony. Wow. I'm sure you can hear, but it is thunderstorming in the rainforest and it's super, super loud and hectic and I love it so much. It's everything I wanted. And we are actually going to go head over to dinner and enjoy the sound of the rain. already prepared. So these are the beautiful rainforest scrubs we were telling you about earlier. These are the Suri and they have grilled it for us. And <laughs> we're gonna try eating them. I'm actually really nervous now that I'm seeing it. <laughs> They're huge. Like, this is my hand for reference. So we are about to try this rainforest grub. <laughs> the Suri. Yes, and we're gonna do it at the same time so that, our, I don't know, so that we just feel better about doing yeah. this. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, one. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's actually very good. It honestly does have a taste kind of like chicken. Mm -hmm. It's really juicy. Mm -hmm. I think it kind of tastes like a shrimp, but if you ate it with the shell. Well, the head <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of the corn nuts that they give you here in Peru whenever you're about to start a meal. Yeah. Honestly, if I had to rate it to one out of 10, I would rate it an eight. I will give it a seven, but only because it's a mental thing. Like it, it tastes pretty good, but I think I'd still give it a seven. Yeah. Because of the textures, the crunch isn't really my favorite. Yeah. And then the, the flavor of it is kind of like a fried fish. Yeah. So Claire actually ended up eating two of those grubs, which I could not believe. And that's actually because she wanted to get a shot for Instagram. So mad respect for her but I was actually wondering if you guys would try these grubs definitely comment below um, let us know if you would because I'm really interested to see what you guys would do so we are now digesting our little grubs and we are going to go meet our shaman and learn all about ayahuasca dun, dun, dun. Yana yana yes tora que tronco manda y elevado na yari. Cuida ringe cuida mungue si toini cuida ringe cuida mungue si toini cuida ringe limpia munga medicina si toini. Claro claro ña wisi toini. It smells fruitier than I expected, but it also is like mixed with a tobacco kind of smell. It kind of smells like a, um, a date. So we just got back from our ayahuasca ceremony and it was honestly very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, we learned a lot about the history of it. So the shaman that came, he's part of a generation that has done it for years and years. And basically what he did is at a young age of 14, he went off into the wilderness and started learning about the plants by 
kind of like camping, I would say. Yeah, living amongst them. Yeah, and so he would be on a very strict diet of tasting these plants along with other foods mm -hmm. um, to start to understand them. That's mm -hmm. kind of a general gist of it. Um, and then the ceremony was very, very interesting as well. So basically, as he begins to understand the plants, he then has these songs that he learns about each plant and he will perform the ceremony while singing those songs and each song kind of gives more power or energy. <laughs> There's a lot to explain. I obviously do not know all of it, but Curacao Lodge has done a very good job at finding a well-vetted shaman. He's not like some poser. He has been doing this his whole life and he's very devoted to this practice. So unfortunately, tomorrow is our last day in the Amazon rainforest, so we could not partake in the ayahuasca. But what was really great was I actually got to participate in like a mock ayahuasca ceremony mm -hmm. because they did want to show us what the ceremony was like even though we weren't able to drink the ayahuasca itself and so that itself was just really fun to experience and it's definitely something i will remember forever so tomorrow being our last day in the amazon we have decided to do something that we had a lot of fun doing which mm -hmm. was piranha fishing and i felt like we both got very good at it so yeah. we're gonna do that tomorrow morning mm -hmm. one last time and one thing that i really do love about curacao lodge is they're very flexible so anything that you want to do um, you're able to do it. But with that, we are going to call it a night because fishing is going to take place pretty early tomorrow morning. And so we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, princess. It's our last day. It's so easy to just keep on sleeping to the sounds of birds. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. It is our final day in the Amazon. I can't believe it's already here. And of course, we are going to start our day with a beautiful breakfast prepared by the lodge. And today is actually going to be a huge traveling day. We have to ride all the way back through the Amazon River to make it to Iquitos. And then from Iquitos, we are going to go to Lima. And then from Lima, we're going to fly to our next country. So it's going to be lots of moving around and we definitely need the nutrients from breakfast to hold us over. So this morning we spotted this tarantula in the dining area and it's quite large. It's probably the size of my hand. <laughs> it's coming towards me. <laughs> Does it just have like the eye right on the top or two eyes? I think it has eight eyes. Oh right. Now that we've put on some long sleeves we will be holding the tarantula. Don't fall. Put it in our hand. In our hand. So don't, don't make it fall. <laughs> we have just made it to our fishing spot and now we're gonna put some bait on our rods and hopefully we'll catch something. <laughs> Got one! <laughs> <laughs> it's a piranha! It's the red piranha. Well done, Chad. Thank you, thank you. First catch of the day. After flinging three different fish in the air, I finally got one to stay on the hook. <laughs> so this is my piranha of the day. Nice, and we only had a few minutes left before we have to go back. Yeah. Wow, the scales are so pretty. They're like sequins. The last meal at the lodge. Yeah, it looks like we have some lomo saltado today. Of course, the bananas as usual. Our last time walking down these stairs. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, boat yeah. is full. <laughs> <laughs> Nine people and a lot of luggage. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> and That's a generator. Okay. <laughs>
our longest and most stressful travel day we've ever had in our entire lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. We have finally made it to our Airbnb for the night in a different country. <laughs> So, you want to tell them what happened, Chad? Yeah, so after leaving the Amazon and our two hour boat ride to Iquitos, we hopped in a taxi in order to get to the airport yeah. and we just cut it very close. Yeah, like I'm talking five minutes、yeah. and the gate would have closed close. Like it、yeah. was extremely close, but we did make it on the flight, thank goodness. And then we got on the flight and we got to the Lima airport. We had to go get some、mm -hmm. dinner, and then from there, we had to fly into our next country and basically fill out lots of different forms、mm -hmm. to make sure we could get in okay and just make sure we're、um, you know, doing well with all the COVID、um, yeah. regulations. And so after that, we got to the country, <laughs> the mystery country, and then we had to essentially Uber to our、uh, Airbnb. Yeah, it and, was really late. So it was like、yeah. 2 a.m. once we arrived to our country. Oh, and on top of that, I put the wrong address in on Uber. So then we had to figure out how to pay the Uber driver in cash because I、yeah. couldn't update the route. Overall, I think it was a 16 hour travel day. Um, of just like going continuously. So, we haven't had Wi Fi or cell service for the past four days in the Amazon. So, we weren't able to check into any of our flights or like even tell our Airbnb hosts what time we would be arriving or anything. And so, that was just really stressful、mm -hmm. to quickly try to figure out using the airport Wi Fi. Um, but yeah, I just want to clue you guys in to give you a little bit of the realities of full time travel. But now let's conclude our time in the Amazon. So, our time in the Amazon was way more adventurous than we ever thought it would be. We did so many things that were way out of our comfort zones. And I feel like we were just constantly like pushing each other、yeah. to do crazier things. <laughs> Cause you know, we're only gonna be in the Amazon once probably. So, we wanted to do everything that was on our bucket list or anything that. Is famous in the area, and so we literally did it、yeah. all. <laughs> so we ate the grub, we swam in the river, we fished for those very sharp toothed piranhas, <laughs> we held the tarantula, we did literally all the things that we thought we'd never do, and I'm really proud of us. Like looking back, I'm really glad we did everything. Even in the moment though, I was so glad that we did it. Yeah,、mm -hmm. there were like no regrets. We didn't like jump in the、yeah. Amazon and be like, I regret this. <laughs> That would be so bad. <laughs> <Yeah> . <laughs> Felt like we really had a very local experience, especially with our guides. Thank you so much, Freddie. You were awesome.、Mm -hmm. But overall, I want to say another huge, huge thank you to Curacao for making this experience so memorable and so immersive with the rainforest. We couldn't have had a better experience,、yeah. and it was just a pleasure being there and being with the staff and all the people in the jungle. So, if you do want to book a stay with Curacao Lodge,、um, if you mention Chad and Claire, you will actually get a discount.、Uh, we won't get paid. Paid for this or anything like that. We just really want to support the lodge and send you guys、mm -hmm. over there because we did really have a wonderful time. And so we want you to have the same amazing experience in the Amazon as well. So、um, all the discounts will be linked in the description box below as well as our website if you do want to book with them. Well, with all of that said, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this Amazon series. We had so much fun filming it and experiencing it. And also, if you guys want to guess what country we are in, definitely leave a comment below.、Um, we would love to hear where you guys think we are、mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> and I can't wait to explore this country a lot further,、yes. but we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!